I don't know if the jitters are out of the players, but they're not out of the building. As you know, you can call the fire marshal if you want. He's not going to be able to get in to break this up. There's got to be over 3,000 people yeah, here easily. for Geneseo Ice Night Playoff Hockey. Ice Knights, Lakers, Suniac Final. And a trip to the national tournament on the line. Water Street ready for the draw, as is Siglarski. Sticks down. Puck drop. Let's do it. Suniac Final from Geneseo. Off the draw, Bodden wins back to the left point. Reve walks the line. Rishon towards that safe rebound score. Corner with the initial stop. Chris Carter of the rebound. And just 35 seconds into the first, Oswego has a 1 0 lead. Bodden wins back to the left point. Quick shot score. Maccalotti with the drive from the left point gets it through the pads of Horgan. It's 2 0 Oswego. 11 15 into the first. And it'll be a ripple for the draw. He wins it back to the right point. Vitt walks the line between the circles and top of the right circle for Brickler. Out to the blue line, Caradonna. Walks into the high slot, leaves top of the right circle for Brickler again. Out to the left point, Vitt. Walks towards the middle. Wrist shot towards that. Deflected scores! <laughs> David Ripple on the doorstep. Gets Genesio back in the game. A power play goal. It's 2-1 to one with 3.30 to go in the first. Sackis for the Lakers will send out the right wing boards for York. York for Barton to the neutral zone. He carries it to the Geneseo zone between the circles that had knocked off his stick by Caradonna. Tried to center it. Deflects out to the right point. Gertzakis, his shot towards the net goes in. A broken play. Gertzakis threw it towards the net and Timpano deflects it through the legs of Horg and it's 3-1. That's a tough break for Geneseo. Heck of a tip by Timpano. As Nick Horgan's going left to right, he opens his legs up and the tip goes right between his legs. Where Botten has it for Oswego once again. Tried to cycle it down low for Adams. That was knocked down by Siglarki. Came out to the right point. Shot from Botten. Hit the post. The ricochet out to the left point. Reve. His shot kicked out by Horrigan. As the Lakers turning nothing into something. Finally, Jasio able to flip it high in the air and out to center. It's controlled back in his own end by Botten. And he leads Carr to breakaway. Carr to the net. Scores! Chris Carr entered this game with one goal on the season and he's Burn the Geneseo defense for two goals in the first period and a half. It's 4-1 Oswego. A lot of game for Bodden. Bodden now under pressure from Collins. Circles back in his own end. Sends to the blue line for Carr. Carr working against Stahl. Lowers the shoulder. Circles in the far end. Sends it towards the front and a shot towards that by Bodden. Save. Rebound. Score. A broken play off the high slot shot by Bodden. Falls right on the doorstep for Galati. He has his second of the game. And again, completely alone in front. Yeah, I mean... 6.55 Nick to go Horgan. in the second, it's 5-1. This is turning into a rout. Nick Horgan is all alone, like you said. And again, it's, it's Matt Hudson and Nate Brown get caught. And Brian Howdy is getting his things. He's going to be coming into this game. The start of the first period didn't look promising. The end of it looked like they could salvage. The second period has been an unmitigated disaster. They have 30 to go in the second period. Ice Knights trailing by four. This power play is going to have to click now. And it'll be Sharpie on the draw to do so. He wins it back to the right point. Vitt. Vitt walks the line, fakes the shot, sends top of the right circle for Brickler. He'll scissor with Caradonna. Brickler, high slot, shot towards the net. That's blocked by Rivet. Comes right back to Brickler. He sends out to the blue line for Vitt. Vitt, top of the left circle for Sharpie. Sharpie walking to the top of the slot. Delays, drops for Brickler. Shot towards the net, scores! A scissor play in the high slot. Brickle with a shot through traffic that Zawatsky never saw. A power play goal for the Ice Knights there within three. I'll tell you what, if, if the Ice Knights move the puck at any point in this game like they do on the power play, this will be a much different game. You look at the way that Justin Sharpie moving up to the net, takes a shot, drops it for Brickler. The movement on the power play has been perfect. We saw at the end of the first period, Geneseo scores a goal, really turns it on. I don't know why it hasn't been turned on the whole game. It'll be Siglarski and Water Street for the draw. Water Street wins it back behind his own net. Gertzakis lost it to Ripple. Ripple in front for Vitt. Shot scores! <laughs> the four check from Ripple behind the net with the turnover. Finds Vitt between the circles and the Ice Knights have new life. It's 5 to 3. 40 minutes gone. Here at the Ira, the Ice Knights trailing 5 to 3. It's been a game of defensive struggles, but it's also a game where every time you want to count them out, they've found a way to pull themselves back in. And David Ripple and Zachary Vitt, in the course of a minute, 
have changed this game completely heading into the third period. Face off in the offensive zone. Stanimir wins for Collins. He sends out to the right point, Brown. Now for Solomon. Now top of the left circle, Stanimir. Back for Solomon down the middle. Drive towards that. That goes wide. The rebound comes to the side of the net. Jammed away. They score! Ryan Stanimir on the rebound on the far post. It's 5 for a power play goal. Matsuwalski. It's not a hockey game. Matsuwalski at the blue line. Absolutely livid. And he puts it off. I don't blame him. I don't blame him one bit. This Solomon shot went wide. The rebound came to the far post. And as we've seen a million times before, the net knocked off the moorings. And Stanimir jams it on the far side. The net's two that's, feet off. And that's exactly why, though. That net comes off. Matsuwalski goes, goes post to post. And like you said, I don't blame him. But he kicks that net off. I think the ref's saying... He shouldn't have kicked the net off. The officials are talking about right now, the ref who called it a goal was two feet away, standing right over the net, pointing emphatically. This isn't going to be overturned by a ref no. in the neutral zone 100 feet away. I don't see any reason why this isn't going to hold up. And with 16-15 to go in the third period, we have a one-goal game. If you're sitting at home, don't turn your radio off. If you're in your car, stay in your car. You don't want to miss the next half hour of what's going on here in Geneseo. Puck comes up to the left point. Siglarski holds it in. Brown has it at the top of the left circle. Backhands it towards the net over the top. It comes to the near corner. Raguezo under pressure from Ripple. Ripple forces it loose. Siglarski has it. Then top of the right circle for Caradona. His shot towards the net. Blocked down. Puck comes to Ripple. Shot. Scores! <laughs> David Ripple with his second of the night. It's a tie game. 5-5. Five, five. Unbelievable. David Ripple. Have you ever felt a building shake? The forecheck we've been waiting to see, the offense we've known all year has shown up in the third period. And five and a half minutes in, the Ice Knights with two goals. It's a 5-5 game. Stay where you are. As the guys in the booth are looking over at us, and what do we say? What was important for the third period, Casey? The first five wow. minutes. Time out, Oswego. Spotting under pressure from Vitt. Circles back in his own end again. Now he'll finally carry out towards center. Walks around Ripple and carries into the offensive zone. Rashad scores! Spotting with the Rashad from the top of the right circle. Goes right through Brian Howdy. That's one he wants back. It's 6-5, Oswego. Under pressure, Brown turned it over to Barton. Barton centered it for York. It jumped over his stick at the right wing board. Stanimir has control, sends out to the neutral zone. Collins into the offensive zone. Pulls up the top left circle, gets between the circles. Shot by Carey down and scores! Jack Carey down and the wrist shot through traffic in the high slot. We're tied again! Left point, Revay drive towards the net. That's blocked by Sharpie. The loose puck comes to Stoke. Sends to the line, not out. Reve at the left point, shot through traffic, blocked off Oyer Street, lighting the paint, and Howdy dives on top. Totally upcoming, wow. and I believe it's going to be on Geneseo. They're going to get Cam Hampton, I can't believe this. Cam They're Hampton, Cam Hampton for a rough. Cam Hampton took out York as he was going after the puck as Howdy dove on top of it. 2.03 to go in the third, and I believe the Ice Knights are going on the penalty kill. Hampton goes off, it'll be a power play, a 28% successful Oswego power play with barring any scoring will last the remainder of this game. And Coach Schultz is livid. He wants to know how that call's made at this point a title game. Broden has Solomon on him. Gives for Barton. He sends out to the point guard Sackis. Barton, top right circle shot. Saved by Ivory. That scores! <laughs> Sean holds up on the rebound. Beats Howdy with 30 seconds to go in the game. Cam Hampton with a roughing penalty after the whistle with two minutes to go. Gives Oswego the power play chance, and with 30 seconds to go, they have a 7-6 lead. Behind the net, battles for Vitt has control in the corner, has it stripped away by Montagna. Montagna takes a hit from Ripple. It's underneath him 10 seconds to go. Collins away with the puck. Behind the net, has it stripped away. Ripple swings it to the front. It's knocked down in front. Comes out to the top of the left circle. Shot by Vitt, bust down by Montagna. Two seconds and one, it's over. In an absolute roller coaster affair, the Oswego State Lakers hang on for their second straight SUNYAC title.